Okay. Hey, you down here? Okay, doing an audio video check. I, uh, this is uh, on the, I did some adjustments to the lapel mic, and I'll show that in a minute. Getting ready to make a, try to, getting ready to do my actual live stream. And this is the next day from the previous one. Uh, got late and I had to quit. So this is cam one uh, <clears throat> on the uh, SM58, cam two on the SM58. One and two on the SM58. One in desktop. And I just have a uh, camera two aimed at the, well, here we go. Camera two is just aimed at the monitor. Uh, didn't really have a place to aim it. Uh, 10 inch tablets not on, not using it. That's the USB endoscope, and that's my, uh, one of my uh, USB audio uh, sound cards. It has a, a mic input and a, and uh, st stereo, it's simulated 7.1. It's a simulated 7.1 surround sound. It's stereo output. Uh, the simulation, if you turn that on, it's uh, actually on. Can you turn it on and off on this? I can't remember. It, it's a little reverb is all. When they say simulated surround, it's reverb. So uh, endoscope um, and cam 1, endoscope and cam 2. Now let's go back to the desktop. Well, we'll go to the desktop. I haven't done that yet. Um, my uh, videos page on YouTube. The video I'm making. Yeah, the top one. Uh, resource usage looks good. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> let's switch over to the... Let's switch over to the... Now we mute the SM58. And now we're on the... Uh, on the uh, twin lapel mics. from uh, Coming from... Um, We'll just show them while I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> okay, I'll move my mic here. Uh, see, this this is a new lapel mic. It's twin. It's two of them, and they're not stereo. Um, they did. I had. I did. Well, actually, I know they have them. Uh, but uh, <coughs> you know, this was like ten, ten or between ten and fifteen bucks. I don't remember. <coughs> <coughs> this sounds better than my old sauce mic. <coughs> Well, this time I remembered to hit mute. Anyway, um, <clears throat> let's test them. They both should be working. They were a while ago. I tested them. And uh, <clears throat> I'll just put this back because I'll forget, even when it's, though it's not on right now. <clears throat> and then uh, cam 2 is just aimed at the monitor. And 1 and 2, 1 and desktop. <clears throat> And uh, two in desktop, 10 inch tablets not on, endoscope with my, I was already showed that, the uh, one of my little USB, it's just something to put up there uh, right now. Uh, USB sound card, audio adapter, whatever you want to call it. Uh, cam one and in, in, uh, endoscope, cam two in endoscope. And then uh, <clears throat> we'll go back on the desktop and we'll look around using the lapel mic. My videos page, the video we're making, <clears throat> and uh, oh, resources are still looking good. Now, what I did, let's see, let's go back over here. Uh, <clears throat> I'll stay on the lapel uh, because that's what I made the adjustments on. So, uh, and I want to make sure it's working good. Um, that's what I'm kind of getting set up. Now, let's go over here and get the. Um, Screenshots opened up. We are on desktop, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, <clears throat> oh, okay. We can make it full screen, I think. There we go. Now we don't have the extra bars and stuff uh, <clears throat> of the actual desktop. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to go through them. <clears throat> that was just me. Uh, 
making sure this camera worked. It actually wasn't working. There it was when it didn't work, and I shut down OBS and opened it back up, and then it was working. Actually, none of the cameras, uh, one and two, wasn't working. I could see them in the web browser. Oh, yeah, I can't go there. See, that's how come I don't do that most of the time because it fools me. But you can go to the web browser and uh, look at them, and uh, let's see. not going to make sense if I don't do it. These links here go to the web browser and click on view and I won't do it. I don't it should not cause a problem but for some reason it wasn't working. Anyway, you can you can listen to the audio or you can uh, watch the video and there's different options on how you want you know what way you want to view it. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, I can use that to and there's there's controls. You can zoom in the camera and stuff. It's pretty cool. So um Anyway, I had done that, and I had forgot to even pay attention, and, turn, and uh, somehow I, I, I finally noticed it. You know, it wasn't working in OBS. So I'm not, don't, sometimes it's things like that just happen, and if you close OBS, open it back up, uh, it'll just be okay. <clears throat> so not always, but sometimes. Okay, so um, now this is one thing I changed. Uh, I, I set the audio. Uh, the audio, okay, my lapel mic is plugged into my can't, what I call camera three. I call them one, two, and three. All Alcatel A45L phones, all identical. Got them several years ago for $15 each, <clears throat> and they worked pretty well for that. <laughs> I got them really just <clears throat> for the cameras and, you know, to kind of like have a pocket PC. I don't have phone service on any of them. Um, I don't have phone service on any mobile phone. I don't really need it. <clears throat> but um, um, I had it, I put it on always play even when not visible because I remembered that I used to think, I, I, recently I thought, well, I didn't think it used to work with that being that way on the audio. Uh, what it's doing is just, the lapel mic's plugged into the phone three, and then the, it sends over the Wi-Fi back to the, to the router, to the, uh, the computer I'm streaming from, which is wired, it's not wireless, but anything, you know, the router, it joins everything together for you. So, uh, and then I had it on always play, oh, always play even when I'm visible, I had it on, I keep making screenshots. I had it on stop when not visible, restart when visible. And it was working fine, but it seemed to be taking a minute to, uh, well, enough to notice, not a minute, but, uh, to, you know, like three sec, two, one to three seconds to bring in, uh, you know, when you switch scenes to bring in the audio. And uh, you would really notice that. And the other thing here, uh, I went ahead and re, and this is my, uh, how much gain I have on the, I've got gain, 17 dB gain. And then I changed the settings on the noise gate. It was like 35, close threshold 35, open threshold 26 or something like that, which was the default. I just left it like that. And it was working okay, but it was kind of clipping. The, sometimes if I spoke softly, it was clipping the first, the beginning of, of a sentence, you know. And that's really annoying. So. Uh, and all I really wanted it for was to <clears throat> cut out the background noise when I'm not talking. And uh, so um, I, I watched, I had made screenshots, and uh, let's see, we'll go back through the screenshots. There's some of the other s screenshots of the settings I'd been doing. It was 32, okay, it was 32 close, and uh, close, it shutting down all the sound at 32, opening at 20, negative 26, notice those are negative 26 dB. 100 dB is the only, that's when you start getting into positive, and if you're at 100 dB, that's so loud it hurts your ears. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, 90 dB hurts your ears. Uh, 85 dB is really annoying, because that's what, how much my comp new compressor I bought is rated at. <laughs> uh, and it's really annoying. So uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> but it was a real good price. So um, keep going until I get to where I, uh, oh yeah, okay. So I was checking my, there it is right there. Okay, now there's with me talking, see, on both mics. <clears throat> and then here is with me not saying anything. <clears throat> it was up to, um, and it kind of varied. I've got a few other screenshots. It varied between 50, uh, 50 five, six, seven and a half to almost 50, negative 50 dB. So I set it on 50 to make sure it cut it off. If, if there any, was any more increase in noise, you know, uh, that was, where is it? Yeah, that's the noise again. It's just in a different place. I think I had renamed the, yeah, 
I guess I hadn't done it at that point, but I renamed my cam, audio cam three from the, I, first I was using the IP address and then I decided it would make more sense to me to name it, you know, <clears throat> what I call it and not the IP address. So anyway, that's all I really wanted to show on that. I've got a whole lot of screenshots. I thought I might even <clears throat> do, a, you know, sli video, screenshot slideshow video about it all, but I don't think it would really be of all that much use. So, um, Oh, I clicked on the wrong link. That was my video. That's not my videos. Those are some of my favorite music videos. These are my videos, yeah. Okay, I put that up there recently and I'm not used to being there. I just click without looking. Okay, um, <clears throat> so that is uh, <clears throat> the, um, all I need to test now. Uh, I'm just wanting to make most make sure everything's working right. Turn on this and 58. I'm going to turn on this and 58. Let's talk a little bit and see if Let's the talk volume a little bit and see if the volume it actually looks like the same. It actually check looks one like two, the same. Check hello, check, check one, check, two, check, 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 check. It could be that now that I open that, um, <clears throat> now I'm back on the SM58. It could be that now that I've opened that uh, uh, compressing, compression up some more, it looks like maybe my lapel is going to be louder than my uh, um, <clears throat> SM58. So, yeah, I was fixing to go, but let's, I can actually check that by uh, turning on the. Uh, monitoring and go to the gears here and go to advanced properties and I can do it, all of them do the same thing it doesn't really matter which one you click on well I mean you need to click on what I'm saying is when you go into the advanced properties see you get you get to see all of your inputs all of your audio inputs so uh, <clears throat> so it doesn't matter which one uh, but, but I want to turn on the monitor for both the mic aux which is my SM58 coming into the line input on the computer mm -hmm. Check, check one, one two. two. Hello, check. 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 Now let's, let's turn off the desktop audio because that. Oh, it is off. Yeah. Oh, oh mute, mute the desktop audio. audio. Then, then I think it'll, it'll cut, cut down, down the echo. Check. Hello. <sighs> check. Hello, check. Check one, two. Yeah, it makes less echo. It makes it easier to decipher what's going on. Okay, now I'm going to turn on the Cam 3 turn mic. Turn on the Cam 3 Let's mic. See. <coughs> Let's see. Let's okay. see. Is it on? Okay. Yeah. Is it on? Check one, yeah. two. Now I can't Check hear one, two. Difference. Now I can't hear any difference. Let's. Let's. Check one, two. Oh, I'm not hearing it. Oh, because I didn't, mo I'm not monitoring it, of course. Okay, Cam 3, audio Cam 3. Check one, two. Hello, check. Hello, check. Both of them. Hello, check. Both of them. Hello, Hello check. check. Just the SM58. Hello, check. Hello, check. <coughs> of course, some SM58 changes a lot because I get closer and farther from it sometimes by accident. It's really kind of dancing between 30 and 30, negative 30 and 35 dB. Let's 35 dB. Let's see. Yeah, I'm listening and watching. Now, see that? That lapel is quite a bit louder on the on the meter, but hello check. But you got to go by the perceived loudness too. What it really sounds like to you. I don't. What I would need to do is back off on the gain if if they don't sound good together. If they don't sound like they're about this. Let's see. Check. Now when I listen to it, to me they sound pretty close to the same so uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to change anything right now I'm going to go back and listen to my recording sometimes I can't tell till I listen to my recording get rid of all that monitoring but see that way you can uh, you can't you can't have that while you're recording because it will make an echo when you're recording uh, and it's especially bad when you have the desktop audio on but you want to make sure if you're using desktop audio which I always do and it's turning back on I don't have a keyboard shortcut for that, but I have Control 3 set for Audio Cam 3 and Control 4 set for Mic Aux. <coughs> okay, and I was using that USB sound card and I had it set on Control 2. Uh, <coughs> so, let's see, everything good? Yeah. All right, so uh, I am back on the SM58, <coughs> making sure I'm just note to self here. So now, and I was having, I started, it was working okay, but it was pretty noisy, uh, that 
that USB sound card. Not as actually not as bad as the built-in sound card on this computer. Uh, I think if I remember right. Um, but you know, it, it doesn't matter because I always want to use my SM58 and I couldn't use the mic input and the and the line input at the same time. The computer software, Pulse Audio, ALSA, the Linux, Fedora Linux default audio software <clears throat> wouldn't let me do that. And I could use Jack and make that work most likely, but uh, Jack is complicated and uh, and you get your settings set. Some I, I never did figure out, uh, on, like I, if I could get them all set and then after I reboot the computer, they're still the same and be fine, but they were always going back to the defaults on me. And, <clears throat> and like I said, it's really complicated and I kept forgetting, I have enough trouble forget. I just forget so much stuff. So. I try to use the best. What works is is the best. Uh, it's not always what's the most feature. Sometimes it's sometimes it works well this the well or the same as the other software, but it's simpler to operate. So for me, <clears throat> so um, anyway, I'm going to do my music out, and then I'll listen to it, and I'll, hopefully I'll be ready to start making videos. Mm -hmm. 